So it says uh, gymnast, and they are giving me the mass of the gymnast. Um, climbs a rope. Okay. So think uh, growing a free body diagram helps think through this question. So, you know, we are thinking of a situation where there's a rope hanging and there's a gymnast hanging onto it. And um, so if I'm considering this a gymnast who's on the rope, climbing the rope, then this would be the free body diagram, diagram of the force that I would draw for the gymnast. Uh, as usual, I represent the person or the object with a single dot, simplest possible drawing. Um, and there's always going to be gravity, mg, on the gymnast. And uh, I think through, did I draw all the forces? Well, the gymnast is holding onto a rope. So there's probably an upward force from the rope. And I think that's going to be what we will call tension. Um, the way this force acts on the gymnast is not exactly tension. It's more of a friction force, but it ends up being tension force in the rope. So we'll call it tension. So we have this relatively simple free body diagram that's illustrating two forces. And if we were to write down Newton's second law for this situation, we would say net force is equal to uh, the weight the work through upward being positive tension pulling up minus mg is equal to mass times acceleration and looking at this uh, expression it seems mostly complete and if they are asking me about tension i have enough information to calculate the weight and um, oh so i guess i need to know the acceleration in order to answer what the tension is. So that's what the difference between A and B ends up being. So where it says if he climbs at a constant speed, if that feels like they didn't give you enough information because they didn't give you the speed, don't let it be. Because the phrase constant speed, what that's telling you is that acceleration is zero. And that was kind of the whole deal with the kinematics, trying to separate out the acceleration from velocity. So in part A, uh, when it's climbing at a constant speed, they're telling you the acceleration is zero. So staring at this expression, what we should be saying is, oh, so the tension is equal to the weight um, so that they add up to zero. So the weight of the gymnast should be uh, 62.5 times 9.8, 613 newtons. And I guess uh, um, part B, uh, let me do it the way that I imagine a lot of people do this question. The way I imagine a lot of people do this question is this way. So you've seen in A, okay, so before tension was uh, weight equal to weight, mg, and then you see, oh, more acceleration. So we add plus ma. And you get an answer of doing it in the calculator. Um, so I already have mg. So let me do plus 62.5 times, uh, I can see acceleration, 1.3 is equal to 694 newtons. Uh, that's how I imagine a lot of people do it. And, you know, you, you, the system will say the answer is correct. And I guess for a simple question like this, I don't necessarily have a big objection to it. Um, the only thing I will highlight for you is um, this kind of simplistic approach. It only works for the easiest of questions. It, um, so this is really the purpose of us teaching you the standard strategy. Standard strategy, it's the power tool of problem solving strategies. You don't always need a power tool if all you want to do is just a nail a tiny uh, nail, hammer a tiny nail, then you don't need a power tool for that. But um, if you're trying to drive uh, something for a huge construction, you might need an impact hammer that <laughs> requires a power. And the kind of the simple, intuitive problem solving approach that I think some people are used to doing, which is great, you know, if you came up with it and it's been working well, it speaks well for you. Um, what I would just uh, ask you to watch out for is uh, try the systematic problem solving strategy that we are teaching you. 
because uh, there will be some challenging questions that where you will simply get stuck with the simplistic approaches like this. The standard strategy that we are teaching you this week, that's the systematic problem solving approach that's designed to handle any problem that I can throw at you. Uh, some questions, you know, I take super long, like uh, the question nine, but, um, uh, but yeah. So, but you know, this is simple question. So if you're answering simply, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you know that uh, it can get harder. <laughs> you need a better approach for the harder questions.